Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet, and in this uh, quick tip, we're going to be looking at spline projection in Cinema 4D. Now, uh, I've got a simple scene set up here. I've got basically a landscape object with a bit of displacement on it, with a displacement deformer, um, just to make it a bit more interesting, and that's in a subdivision. And I've also got a sweep, which is basically just a path spline that I've created with a circle. Obviously, they're in a sweep object. So let's get into it. Let's uh, let's have a look at the ways we can project our spline onto the surface of this landscape object. Now, typically, there's a way that's been in Cinema 4D for quite some time now. What you can do is you can select your spine, spline even, and go into point mode. And if I uh, control A to select all the points, you can see that our handles are highlighted there. And then what you can do is you can right click and you can go down to projection. Oh, there we go project and we can hit that and if you go to options it will say mode now view it will project it whatever the view is so this will be from the views camera um, sort of forward into the thing now we want to actually project this down onto our landscape so what we need to do is actually go to XZ plane and the reason we've got to do that is because the Y direction is up and down so obviously the plane that it's going to be landing on will be the XZ plane. So we go to that, go to tool, and we hit apply. It appears that it's moved up, if anything. Now there's a good reason for this. I'm going to press Control Z, so it's back to where it was. Um, it's because the sweep is enabled. Uh, if we turn the sweep off and do the same thing again, we should get a result. So Control A, and we'll choose our project. Make sure we're in the uh, XE plane and then apply. And there you can see our, our um, spline has now been projected onto the surface of our landscape. Now, the reason it didn't work before, this is just guesswork, but I highly suspect it's because it's looking for geometry. It's saying, okay, let's project this spline downwards so it's on the XE plane and um, we'll have it interact when it gets to some geometry. Now, if you've got the sweep turned on, obviously there's geometry around the spline, so I should imagine that's why uh, it doesn't work when you've got that on. So you need to project first, and then you can turn your sweep back on, and there's our result. Let's have a quick look. You can see that the spline has been projected uh, onto the surface of our landscape object, but We've got some problems. We've got some clipping as you get round here. It actually clips through there. Uh, it's not too bad round here, but again, it clips through at the top and it's clipping through majorly there as well. And that's because when you uh, use this kind of projection method, if we select, if we turn off our sweep and select our spline again, you can see that our handles for our points actually don't get affected too much. And that's why, uh, here's a good example this handle's pointing sort of this way and down, and that's why it sweeps through our geometry uh, to get to this point. And again, it happens there as well. So that may not be a uh, very good method to do it. You can remedy this. What you'd really have to do for this is actually go through point by point. So let's uh, get in a view that we can actually see our points. So you'd have to grab your point. Let's go back to the other view drag it up and then you could actually start messing with the handles as well to make sure it bends around properly. So uh, it's not very intuitive and certainly not quick, especially if you've got a long spline or something like that, you're going to have to put a bit of work into it. But there is another method that we can accomplish projection. So let's get back to what we had before. There we go, our splines back in the same position again. So how do we go about it? Well. Uh, the same rules apply to this different method. We, we're going to need to turn this sweep off because it is looking for geometry. Select our spline. We don't need all of our um, points selected this time. But what we can do is go up to the uh, spline menu here and go down to spline smooth. So by default, this smooth is going to be selected and we don't actually need that. We can turn that off and we've got this project at the bottom and it's set to 100% and that's fine for our needs. So let's go into a different view because the way this project works, it's from the, from the view. So if we come out of this by clicking the middle mouse button and use our top view, in fact, I'm just going to pull this out. So we've got both views visible now. I'm actually going to, using this project function on our spline smooth tool, 
I'm actually just going to paint along this spline. And if you keep a look at the spline in this window, you'll see it being projected. So let's let's just do that. So as you can see, as I paint along, the spline is projected downwards onto our landscape and Bob's your uncle. So if we go back into this this view now, we can see that it's uh, it's set there and turn our sweep back on. Now we can see that it doesn't suffer from any of the uh, problems that the other projection method, method has. There's no clipping and it seems to follow the um, topology of the landscape object perfectly. And the reason for that, if we turn the sweep off and have a look at our spline, select our points again, you can see that as it's been projected, the, um, the angle of the handles has been uh, changed as well to conform to our to our landscape object. So it kind of sorts that out for you on the fly as it's being projected. So that's it guys for this quick tip. I just wanted to show you a couple of ways in which you could project splines onto geometry. For my viewers on YouTube, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out content at digitalmeet.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials. You can also follow me on social media, links in the description and the footer of my website. If you'd like to help support Digital Meet, this can be done via Patreon or the support page on the website. But if you want to help Digital Meet keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.